Hi there, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do a quick, uh, as quick as possible, a little, well, semi-small haul of all the things that I have collected for the Shopkins themed birthday party that my kids are having. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let me start with this. So I picked up this backpack on clearance at Walmart. These are not like these big elaborate backpacks because they don't have pockets or anything. It's just a simple little backpack. It was $3 on clearance. And this is going to contain some stuff inside that I have not purchased yet. I have to find items to put in there as prizes. And what is that a price for? It is a price for this jar. Just kidding, not the jar. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is put a shop, our Shopkins from our house, of course, our little toys. We're gonna count them and we're gonna put them in this jar. And the, the contest is gonna be, guess how many Shopkins are in the jar? And whoever comes closest to or hits the amount on target will win this backpack with goodies inside. Of course, I'm going to seal this jar and I'm going to keep it on the table. Make sure nobody steals our Shopkins because my girls love their Shopkins and they would be very upset if somebody took off with their Shopkins. So that's one thing that we love to do is always do a little giveaway for our party. Okay, so in this box, <laughs> okay, I had previously recorded this and I messed up so I had to start over. So let me tell you what's in this box. Let me go backwards. Okay, so I have picked up these um, Shopkins Party Photo Props, and I decided I would do these instead of the picture frame that I wanted to do because uh, it's over overdone now. So I picked these up for $1.99 at the, do uh, the 99 cent only store, which is two states away. It seems like I'm finding everything everywhere other than my state, which is really sad. So anyway, I thought these photo props would go well with this back um, drop that I have for for the party. I'm going to stick this to the wall. And I've used some of these before, and they're pretty static, so they'll stick to the wall automatically. Um, and so that way they can use these and stand in front of it and take pictures if they so choose to. And so I picked up four of these for $1.99. I found these um, these tote bags at Dollar General, but they clearanced them out not too long ago. So I ended up only having these, and these were actually going to be my treat bags. But since I didn't get enough, I need about 50. Um, I'm just going to use them and maybe cut out the pictures or just give them away for the kids to take home things that they collect at the party like candy and stuff from the piñata. So I have, I think, six or seven of these. So that's good. Um, these Shopkins table covers. I have only three. I have been slow at picking up the table covers. But since they are expensive, I'm going to pick up for every other table. And it's two tables per row. So it's going to be every other row tables. So I need to pick up a few more. And then in between, I'm going to do solid colors. The pink, the turquoise, and the purple. Just to save some money. Because, you know, I don't want to be spending $3 per table cover. Because they get trashed, you know. And then I picked these up last year at the Target Bullseye Spot. Um, what used to be the dollar spot, I picked these up. They're memo sheets. There's come four to a pack. So I am going to separate these. And I had picked up four, I believe, or five, I forget. So they had different little characters. So I have eight different kinds. And um, they were a dollar. So I needed 50. I only was able to get... 20, but I'll make do with what I've got. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give these as prizes or if I'm going to stick in the treat bag. Okay, so then I have these little play packs that I found at Dollar Tree. Um, I no longer can find these, and I was able to get, I think there's 40 in here, almost 50. So everyone's going to get one of these in their treat bag. And to complete the ones I wasn't able to find, I picked up these party packs 
for, you know, so that the others don't get cheated out. We do make big parties, so, you know, we like to make it fun, exciting, and, and worth coming to. <laughs> so anyway, so that's that. I picked up, there's the other stack. These have stickers. There's 12 play pages, and they're pretty cute. I mean, they have where you can color, do a crossword puzzle, play tic-tac-toe. So, I mean, it's it's cute for the kids. I mean, these kids range from baby to maybe 12 years old, so some of them are still into that. Okay, so these stickers I found at a local store, the cheap store I had told you about where I found those coloring books, the big ones. <laughs> In previous video um, I love to cut these in half and give to all the kids in their treat bags and there's four sheets so one two three four five six so I have enough for everybody to cut you know some pieces and put them into their treat bags so that's that box there I picked up these these um, foil balloons Shopkins foil balloons. It's 12 to a pack. 12 balloons. So each table is going to have a balloon and so is the K table. Um, I believe they were about oh gosh I don't remember. Maybe $15 but it was at a local downtown store in my area. So you might might and might not be able. It's because they sell wholesale there too. So um, everything's packaged. It's not individual. And then these I found at a Walmart in the next state. It seems I'm finding everything everywhere else but where I live. So I picked up three packs of these eight count balloons. They have the Shopkins figures on them. Um, you can kind of see Cookie there and um, other, other, well I can't see any of the other ones. So anyway, that should be enough balloons. I usually pick up my own helium tank. So I blow up my own balloons. That's why I just buy them like that prior to. And then I have these gift bags. These are the ones that I cut up to make my decorations and stuff. I've already cut up one of these and I'm using the pictures to decorate my boards that I'm making. I might, might not use them all. So I haven't cut these out in case I don't. Then I have just a gift bag I could use in the future. These I've got at Dollar Tree. All of these I found at Dollar Tree. Even this big one, I picked up three or three of these big, large gift bags, and they have a huge picture, which I am going to cut out and probably put on my second board that I'm going to do. So I've got a few of those. These I picked up at Walmart. I think they were a dollar. I'm going to say a dollar fifty. I don't remember. But I need about 16 of them. I think I have 7. But I'm going to pick up about 9 more. Maybe 10. Uh, because I want to use these as centerpieces. Part of the centerpieces for my tables. And you're like, why? Well, I think it adds a little bit of dim like color to it. So to give you a quick, quick, quick idea. This is going to go in the center of the table. It's going to have one of my centerpieces, which has the decals on it. And this is going to have the top with the picture sticking out of it. And then it's going to contain probably a little Shopkins cup with, I don't know, maybe cookies. And I picked these popcorn containers that I'm going to stick the popcorn uh, picture of the popcorn guy. Person, I don't know if it's a the little popcorn guy I'm gonna stick it on there and I'm gonna put popcorn in there so my centerpiece is gonna look basically like this it's gonna have some treats for people to sit and enjoy prior to starting the food so they get to take all this stuff home if they so choose to you know the placemats are cute for the kids and everything else well they can take the popcorn container and the vase you know they can reuse those if they want to so basically that's 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 my quick idea for those placemats and let's go on to the next items let's take these away I'm trying to do this as fast as possible so I don't spend like three days doing this video 
All right, so let's put that there. So as I told you, these are my, this is my, my, um, my wall decorating thing for pictures that are going to go with the, the photo props. These are still my giant coloring books. These are the pictures I used for my board that's way up there. Um. But I don't think I'm going to use the other ones. I was thinking I was going to need more. But since I have four left, these were 99 cents at a local store. I'm going to use them as part of the gifts. As the, what is it called? Um, when we do contests and all that. Okay, so this is a bucket. Just a yellow bucket I used last year for my emoji party. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put a Shopkin sign here though. Um... These are prizes. There we go. Prizes. <laughs> um, for the games that we do, um, we have little poof ball keychains that the little girls are into. Um, the ages range from baby to maybe 12. So it's got a little bit for everyone. I got Silly Putty, which even the older kids like. I've got these toothbrush sets. I've got these Junior Slinkies. These I got at dollar general they were like maybe 40 cents because they were on clearance because these are considered summer toys these were $1.50 at a local store these were a dollar from the dollar tree um, so I picked up these coloring books I have three of them I thought I was going to also use the pictures to cut out but I think I've got enough pictures already cut out so I'm just going to give these away um, I have this little set I just got one, was able only to find one, and I do have these emoji uh, sticker pad sets that I had from last year's birthday party, the emoji theme, and I never used them, so I'm going to go ahead and give them away. They were from the Target dollar spot, or the bullseye spot now. What else do I have? I have these little notepads, which I'm going to separate, so it's one per person, these jumbo playing cards. I have these keychains uh, with the sequins that these kids are so into. And you know what? I've been playing with these and they are like stress balls. I like them. I think I'm going to pick up a few for myself. These I got at a local store for $0.79 cents each. And I only picked up four because I was in a hurry that day. And I think I'm going back and picking up some more. So I got a red, a pink, a pink heart, and a blue heart. So these are little keychains the kids can hang on their backpacks. Um, Play-Doh sets. I picked these up at Family Dollar for $2. I have three of those. These um, cupcake erasers. They kind of go with the theme because they're food. And Chopkins, we know, food. And these holographic notebooks. And these big jump ropes that light up. They, um... They are from Dollar General. They were on clearance for $2 because they're summer toys and now everything's being clearanced out. I picked up this pack of Play-Doh, which I'm going to separate at, I believe, DD's discount stores or, or um, Ross. I'm not sure which one because they both have the same price tags. But it's 10 of them, so that's 10 prizes right there. And so that's some of the prices I have, which is, that's enough, I'm pretty sure. Sometimes I run out, <laughs> depending on how many kids show up. And yes, usually we will have between 40 to 50 kids. That's why I need 50 of everything, when the other things I'm giving away. One of the last size things that I have are these little shopping keychains that I found at a local downtown store in my area. And these were pretty cheap. They were 50 cents each, so two for a dollar. And they have some of the Shopkins little guys, like Chocolate, or I don't know what his name is. I don't know their names. I just, I'm just calling them by what I see. Um, I don't even know, is this lotion, perfume? Little heart. Um, there's Lippy, I know Lippy. Um, and Cupcake, and so they have different, and uh, not, many but different little 
but for 50 cents you can't go bad you know you can't go wrong and um so two for a dollar they still had some so i might go back and pick up some more because i know the little girls love to hang keychains on their backpacks and there's my bon jovi bag when i went to the concert my love okay anyway this is another bucket of this is what i'm going to use i'm going to put a shopkin sign here because i'm going to use all these uh, baskets for the party but right now I'm using them as storage pick these up at a local store they're just little those blow thingies what are they even called blowouts yeah just picked up three so I have a few not all the kids use these but sometimes they do sometimes they don't I don't know um, I have pencils these are gonna go in their treat bags I have these um, not mechanical but these pop-up pencils I guess and then I have the regular pencils. So I had enough for everybody because I picked up a bunch of packs. And I picked up some erasers. We have like a lot of little uh, popular ones. Um, I picked up enough packs of those for everybody. And I also picked up sharpeners for everybody. So they all are going to get a pencil, a sharpener, eraser, and those um play packs so they're gonna have all that um what else did i pick up these hanging decorations originally i was also going to use these for my decor i was going to cut them out but then i like you know we'll just hang them up my baby picked up this sticker she wanted it for herself but she said let's leave it there and see if we use it so that's fine she'll probably get it back <laughs> And what else? Um, oh, I already showed you these play packs. These are the play packs that I bought to complete the 50 I needed because I couldn't find the others. So that's that basket. That's one okay. On to this other. This was my other project. I forgot to mention to you t yesterday or the day before whenever I was showing you some of my progress. So what I did is I picked up some bubbles from the Dollar Tree. And I think I'm going to use these as prizes as well. I was going to initially give one to each kid, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like stick it in their gift bags, in their treat bags, I mean. Or just leave them out for them to take as they leave or use them as prizes for the games that we play. So what I did with these is I removed their label. It just says like bubble whatever on it and I made my own labels I printed these off I got a picture off the internet and I tried to size it match it to the size of the label I cut them out and then I did not laminate what I did is I put packing tape over it so that um, it would be shiny and it looks like I bought them that way and then I just hot glue them to the bottle. You have to be careful with the hot glue though because this is plastic and I use high temperature hot glue so it could melt the plastic but I was being really quick and careful with it so I have my own um, bubbles. See, They all have the label. They all have the Shopkins label so there's a few I still need to do. We just removed the labels but I ran out of labels, so I have to print some more out. And so that basket has all the balloons. That's all it has. The balloons. <laughs> the bubbles. Um, sorry, it's so early in the morning. Okay, so anyway. On to this. I have these buckets. I found these at 50 cents at a Walmart that I visited. And um, I believe it was Arizona. I don't remember. 50 cents, they were on clearance. So I picked up these. We usually use these for games where I have um, little plastic golf balls that um, the team that makes the most into there wins prizes. And um, these I was going to originally do for my centerpiece tables, but then I decided um, I like these ideas better. So these I might use for, I don't know, something else. I'll come up with an idea. I'm always thinking, so it's not going to go to waste. It's going to be used. Um, so over here, I already showed you in my other video, um, my centerpiece idea where I stuck decals 
um, and then I put a cone inside, a cone foam, and then around it I filled it in with the shredded paper. I picked up these popcorn, they're plastic containers, which I'm going to stick the popcorn face in the middle to cover the popcorn sign, that way it looks like popcorn. Stick popcorn in there, put them on the center pieces. Here's all my shredded paper I need to pick up. I'm not using red, it's just that it was with my cat. So, um, in this basket, I have these that once I put the Shopkins label here, I'm going to put this on top of the handle. So it's decorative. Picked up three of those for my three baskets. And then here I have my invitation. Somehow I ended up with two different types, and I need to pick up two more invitation packs. But they're cute. I thought it was different, so um, why not, right? And then. In here, I have cake plates. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times eight, sixty-four. So I have about sixty-four cake plates picked up at where did I pick these up? Probably a combination of Walmart, Dollar, no, not Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and they just look like this. And I only do these for the cake plates. I don't buy the actual uh, shot like the 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 themed big plates because it's too expensive i have a lot of guests so we do the napkins and we do wrap our our cutlery or silverware in them and then we place them in the basket and i was going to put another shopkins label and i have two different types i have those those and then i have these so two different types of napkins and that's those i have these um the ribbon that I'm going to, if you saw my last video with my treat bags, I have tags that I'm going to tie to them that says, thank you for coming to my party. So that's for that. I have these notebooks I picked up, which originally were going to be used for the pictures that was in the cutout. And I might, might not use them because this is a different picture and I really like it. But if not, I'll just throw them in the prize box. And this uh, folder, I showed this to you before. It contains all my laminated cut it, cut out pictures that I have from calendar that is available at Dollar Tree right now. I laminated the pictures because they're very, very flimsy pictures. So I showed those to you in the last video. I have these um, wrapping paper Shopkins that I picked up at Dollar Tree. They do have them. It's, of course, very little amount. You don't get much, but I might use it for, for my, for my, my, um, my decorate, my decoration. So we will see how crafty I can get. Sorry. Okay. So here are all my centerpiece vases that I have. They all, I have to do them all like with their top. These are my other centerpiece cups that I have. These were, I picked these up at Kmart for 60 cents a four pack. It was clearance from um, Easter. These are actually egg dyeing kits. It was four to a pack and they were 60 cents. So I picked up a whole bunch and they're all gonna go on my centerpiece area and the table. Um, here are my decals that I picked up at Dollar Tree. You may or may not find them anymore. I still see here and there scattered in the store, but this is what they look like. Um, and these are what the decals I've been putting on the, on the vases. And I did all four sides because I had picked up a lot of these. I had about 50, maybe more. So I was able to put them on there. And I also used the decals to make my treat bags so that's that what else do I need to show you oh um, these these are the, the little poof balls things I'm, I'm using for that except I cut the corners or not corners the ends in a teardrop shape to make them spiky because if you don't they come out rounded just like that if you could see that yeah there um what else? What else? Oh, oh, my candles. My candles. I have picked these up from another party store. I don't know if this is a, 
a party store that's everywhere, but it's called ABC Party World. And these were $1.70 each. I think they were clearance because normally these are like $5 a piece. And they have enough candles for both girls because I put candles on one side and candles on the other for each of my girls. And they have their little Shopkins logo there. So that works for me. Those are the wrapping paper I picked up at Dollar Tree to make my backboard. Now these weights are where I'm going to put the balloons at each table. So I still need to pick up a few more. And I believe that is everything other than these. These are my letters that I picked up at Walmart. They were clearance, so... Those are my initials, and then these buckets, I'm going to stick a decal and decorate for each of my daughters. Stick some of the shredded paper here too. Glue these uh, letters to a stick, and each one's going to have their own side of the cake table with their favorite Shopkins. So I'm going to print those out and put the favorite Shopkins for each of my daughters. And then that's about it, everyone. I think that was... This is a long video. I didn't want it to be this long, but I hope you enjoyed and um, happy crafting and happy parties. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day.